don't know. Yep, For it's sure. recording. We're on. Okay, we're on. Yay, we're on. All right, well, welcome to our call. We are so, so excited about this class. Um, my name is Sonia Dudley, and I have my power partner, Helen McFadden, on tonight. And we are Diamond Ambassadors with Plexus, and we are really, really excited to offer this class to uh, Senior Gold and Above. And, you know, uh, Michelle Thomas was, was talking to us about doing a class like this, and it's, it's interesting because how God works. She was talking to us about it, and Helen had just mentioned, and we were both talking about like a month ago, you know, we need to do something with the people who really, really, really want this who are hungry, who show up, but maybe they're stuck or there's something holding them back. And so when Michelle brought this attention, you know, let's do something. Are you guys going to do something or, you know, so that? I'm like, you know, we're going we're gonna to do something. So thank you, Michelle, for kind of that uh, push. The push we needed. <laughs> the push we needed. Uh, and, you know, I just want to share that uh, I'm just going to share a couple minutes of what I want this class to be about. Um, I, I believe there's a lot of people who who stick it out, but they keep just going outward to get the best new idea. They go outward for the new light bulb moment that they think is going to change their business. And then what they find is they get stuck again. And I want this class to be more about really peeling back the onion, figuring out what is truly holding you back and then pushing through the hump to make it happen. So that's what these next five weeks, and it could be six weeks, I'm not gonna lie, it could go into six weeks, it's gonna depend, um, it's gonna depend a little bit. So uh, five to six weeks, and the calls are recorded, so don't fret if you're not on here. Um, okay, Helen, so. Okay, um, hi everybody, I'm so excited to be here, and I mean, we're kind of blown away, like how many of you are, are joining us, and it's, exciting I I see a lot happening in our group and um, you know I, I think when Sonia and I we were talking about this what we're doing I want you just to all know it's not going to be easy this is not going to be an easy class because getting to emerald sapphire and diamond is not easy if you were at leaders retreat you heard Rita say if it was easy it would be sleazy and um, anything worth having is worth working for and um, I think, you know, we, we know so many things about this business now. For those of us, you know, obviously you're all senior goals. You've had an opportunity now to build a team. Um, maybe some of you have worked harder at building that senior goal team than others. Um, I'm not really sure. You're, everybody's going to have a different background journey story. Um, but what I really, what I want you all to, to know is that it's, you know, it's not what we know, it's what we do with what we know. And so how are we going to do the do part? Like Sonia said, you know, it's, it's not just something we're going to go from event to event to, an, to event and keep motivated and hope that we get the right person. You know, we, I hear that a lot, you know, just need to get the right people on my team. Uh, becoming a leader, like a really good leader that, that people will want to follow and buy into their excitement, passion, belief, vision, takes a lot of layers of doing. And um, I think, you know, at, at this point, all of you being senior gold and above, you should all have your own Facebook group by now. I'm sure most of you, if, if not all of you do. But we're going to talk the book is one element and it's a huge element of this class. But a lot of what my conviction, which of course Sonia shares, is just becoming that well-rounded leader that applies the personal growth and transfers to the team. It requires transparency, vulnerability, being yourself, letting your team know when you make mistakes, uh, being real. You know. I will tell you, honestly, this, the messages that Sonia and I get, and we're so humbled, we get the sweetest messages pretty consistently, private messages just from people who know our story and have met us or heard us speak or whatever, is that they appreciate that we're real. And I've had you know, this epiphany, and Sonia and I have talked about it a lot lately, just the importance 
of I think we think leadership is so much harder than it is. We think it's like something out there that we're going to try to become and be. But leadership really is influence. And we influence people all the time. But how are we effectively influencing our team and our Facebook groups? Are we just introducing new ambassadors? Are we just sharing positive quotes and, and graphics? And, you know, are we kind of going through the motions or are we digging deep into what we're learning about ourselves as leaders and having that ability to transfer it to our team by allowing, giving them permission to buy into their own dream and their own vision. And so that's kind of my conviction, being that we're talking to you all that are senior goals and above, that you you take this course because your mind shift will happen, your mindset will change. There's no doubt about it if you read this book and apply the things we're going to be sharing with you but that you just take it to the next level. We want this to be a pivotal moment for you all. There is no reason you cannot be in Kona with us. None. Like there is not, you cannot tell me one reason why. Because you know what I've learned, what we've learned, is that for everybody that says it can't be done, there's somebody else out there doing it. And so we are going to just peel the onion, like Sonia said, we're going to peel the onion and we are going to get to the bottom of what's holding you back. And, and, and really what I want you, you know, I know anybody can do this. We, we know, we've seen all walks of life become successful in network marketing and especially Plexus because of our comp plan and the products we have. We really don't have anything holding us back, um, but it takes, um, a level of skill to develop that real confidence and transfer that to your team. And I, I believe honestly that we just, we really need to become masters of connecting, connecting with people, being a connector of people. Cause it's going to be all about your relationships and trust and credibility and that vulnerability and that transparency and that, that raw honesty. The best training we ever have is when we are just raw and honest with our teams. So that's where we hope this personal growth and development can happen for you throughout this course. It might end up being more than five weeks. We'll see. Um, but that's just, you know, my vision. And, um, and I think I'll just close with asking you all the, the question tonight. Do you have a vision? Do you have a vision for yourself and your team and where you're taking this? Because if you don't, you really need to think about that. How will your team know where to go? How, how can you really be that effective leader without vision? And so um, becoming a visionary leader, confident, all those things is my um, hope and prayer for this class for all of you, all 100 plus of you. My goodness, it's so awesome. Thank you, Helen. Um, ditto I mean ditto obviously we've talked about all this and it's a perfect way to open the class and obviously the reason I don't like to open is because you always give me things to lead off of always so I wanted to say um, talking about vision one of the biggest things um, is that and I think possibly it may have been this book where he talks about this as well um, but biblically there's so many verses in the Bible that back People had the people who have vision are the leaders, the people go, taking their people places. And you know, um, I know in, in my John Maxwell class that I was there in February, he said, um, one of the teachers under him said, You know, when I say to you, you know, I drive a white car, what do you picture? Do you picture a white car or do you picture the word W H I T E C A R? No, you picture white car so it's that crucial that so it's that crucial that you know that what you see your thoughts follow your action follows so if you see the vision of yourself lying on the beach in Kona beside whoever it is you want to be beside smelling the ocean the suntan oil feeling the sand between your feet watching your family, listening to your children or your husband or whoever say, you know, thank you so much for working so hard. This is the best trip we've ever had. You have to visualize that in your mind all the time. And then your 
actions will follow those thoughts. It's biblical. It's it's scientific and it's biblical. So uh, I, thank you for bringing that up. That's so important. Another thing that you said that made me think of this was, uh, and this actually I believe is in this book, uh, and John Maxwell talks about it, but people are always looking outward for that next thing, that external motivation. And until they start looking inward. So if you've been stuck for six months, a year, a year and a half, two years, whatever, your whole life, you've been stuck in a pattern. Stop looking outward someone or some program to fix it. Start looking inward to figuring out what am I what is blocking me? What is the fear, the limited belief, the self chatter? What is that that's stopping me? Even self sabotaging yourself and not even knowing it. So that's the kind of stuff this book addresses and that we're going to tear into over this class. So I wanted to start with um, a question. I meant to start with this question, Helen. This is not one of my three questions. This was one that I meant to say. But I want you to ask yourself. Do you believe that if someone wants something badly enough, they can do it? They can figure it out and do it. If someone wants something badly enough, they will make the time, they will figure it out, they will go through all the barriers to do it. And if your answer to that is yes, then you have to believe that you can as well. See, sometimes we can see other people doing it. We read the books, we, we, we open a book, Chapter one, and it says, and I think I talked about this in my um, Minnesota the other day, but you open the chapter of the book and it says, you know, Susie was a great person. Here, here's, here's, uh, uh, here's, here's the beginning of her life. She woke up every day. Things were perfect. And then you go to chapter two and it's the end of the book and it says the end. I mean, that's not a good, who wants to read a book like that? You want to read a book that you see the overcoming and that you go, oh my gosh, look what they did. Oh my goodness. They walked 12 miles to school in the snow barefooted and, and got eat up by dogs and still sit through class and made an A, you know, and, and walked home with bloody feet. I mean, that's the kind of book you want to read, right? So what that's, they make movies about. That's the ones they make movies about. And, and that's the ones that, you know, Forrest Gump, there was never a part two. You can't make a part two on that. It's an awesome book. You want to read books like that? Well, you need to create your own book like that. You need to understand that all your challenges are part of your book. Okay. And Sonia, can I just say, and that's why it's so critical that you become transparent with your team. See, people that don't know me and Sonia before Plexus don't know our journey and, and why we try to share it, you know, that we we worked so hard in another business and learned a lot of skills, but worked really, really hard and we just weren't in the right opportunity. But we learned so many lessons. We feel like we got a PhD in people and people skills and leadership skills and all the things that many of you are learning. Maybe a lot of you have come in from previous experience and have some of that. But just um, being that transparent leader will get you so far because it only will help you to connect with your team and they'll see it for themselves and they'll see the the bloodied knees and the and the customers that quit on you or the preferred customer that um you know became a new ambassador and then you know became a silver and oh my gosh now they're gone and that's one of the things we just shared in our, our video that we just did before this about so many of our teens i mean sonia has a senior ruby that's no longer with her a level one you know i can't count how many people have left but you know that's just we we never ever ever you you want to become that person that says okay i'll show you if they're if they're negative if they leave if they try to rain on your parade instead of buying into the belief just what what people think of you is none of your business if your why is so deep in the sand your conviction your your line drawn everything it will it will happen for you you know it, it it can't not but it's a process and you have to share the loving of the journey and that personal growth and what you're going to learn in this class with your team you have to deliver that in a way where they get it they can see for themselves you don't want to be the untouchable leader that you know sonia and i are just as goofy will tell you you know when we make mistakes it's all that because we're all human and that's really all that people want to know is like 
can I do this? Your team wants to know why they should buy into your belief that you're going to become an emerald. Yeah. And, and, you, and that connection, I, I just believe it's the missing link, along with obviously everything we're going to talk about with this book, for so many leaders, because they think that this is something different than what it really is. And if you, if you watch videos of people who have taken longer in Plexus to become an emerald, sapphire, and diamond, you will hear them all say, the growth, the things that happened were in the valley. It was all in that valley. So, you know, we had a um, Fallon a, a few weeks ago. Her valley lasted one and a half years. That is a painful valley. But guess what? She didn't quit. And some magic started happening with her team when they saw her growth. They bought into it. And so our hope is that that connection gets made, that shift in your mind about being that effective leader along with all your new your newfound beliefs will help and make all the difference too. Well, and with Fallon, I mean, it was with Fallon Black, you know, it was it was, it was caught and not taught, you know, it, it just, it was caught. I mean, she didn't have to do or say, or, it was caught and that's what you want. That's what becoming a very influential leader is, is when you don't have to really tell, but you just are. Just go be. And you go be, yeah, you go be. And people want that. So, and you know, as far as, um, you know, what people think of you, I, you know, and I say this a lot lately, but I want you to understand that people, and this is not being negative. This is being real with you and you need to be real with, with this. You need to be able to say this to your team. When someone joins, you need to say, you know, this is not going to be just rosy. You're going to have negative people. You're going to have people who don't want to do what you're doing, who don't believe in it, who, who laugh at you. That is normal. You live in a society where the norm is for you to go work a nine to five job and to be struggling paycheck to paycheck and be in debt your entire life and to be away from your family and feeling that way. That's normal. But I want you to know this is not normal, but you can have it. Very few do because most people aren't willing to do what it takes. So be, don't be afraid to say that to people. You're not being negative. You're giving them uh, ammunition to be prepared to hear that. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do tonight, obviously, because we haven't, we haven't all, we're just getting our book. I've, I've had the book of, uh, you know, about three weeks. Uh, some of you are just getting the book this weekend. Some of you haven't gotten it, but it's on its way. But I would say get it as soon as you can. You can get it on audio, but um, it's really better to have the paper version if you can, so you can highlight it and um, that kind of thing and go back to it. But we're going to be, the, the homework assignment, it, because this is a pretty rapid class, it's, in, it's a very easy read. You won't be able to put it down. It's that good. But you're going to be reading one to five chapters this week, one through five. Um, so I, you won't be able to put it down, but I want you to highlight the things in each chapter that are those aha moments for you that you go, oh, wow, that makes sense. Or, oh, my goodness, I've never heard of that. I want to try that. You know, it makes sense. It's such a good book. So that's going to be part of your homework. So next week we're going to be covering those highlighted things. Um, and we're going to address in the group how that we're going to cover those, such as obviously since this is not interactive, we're going to give you the instructions on how we're going to be talking about those things. Um, so what we're going to do tonight, uh, we, we kind of have given you the overview of the class. We're going to just go over five questions that we want you to answer and we're going to have you to uh, if you feel that you can put the answers to these questions um, we have in the three, group. three questions right Sonia three oh, I've got yeah we have three questions you're right we have three questions so um, you know one of them is just a yes or no and it, it, anyway whatever you can answer we want you to answer in the group if you feel comfortable. You do not have to do this in the group. But if you're comfortable, go ahead and do it. It's good. What it's going to do is it's that vulnerability. It's that someone opening up 
and it's real and it's raw and it's going to cause someone else to be able to do that. And if you can't do it in the group, I want you to feel very confident to share this with someone like your sideline, your upline, someone who supports you, your power partner, but you must start. This is the starting of the peeling of the onion. This is where you cut the end of the Vidalia onion off and take the crunch off. That's the first part of the peel. All right. So let's see, Helen, were you covering which one? I was going to do the third one. If you want to do the first two, okay. the one you emailed me this morning. Yep. So the number one question is going to be this. And I can post these questions in the group when we're finished as well. But I, I do want you to write them down if you're on the call. When you decide to be bold or step out of your comfort zone. So when you decide to be bold or step out of your comfort zone and then you feel that hesitation, you kind of feel that you're being held back. You feel that. Ask yourself this. <clears throat> What is the negative self-talk that you hear and where does it come from? What is the negative self-talk that you hear and where does it come from? Meaning, an example, a childhood memory from a teacher, a parent, a grandparent, someone saying to you, you know, like, let's say you're about to talk to a stranger and you hear this hesitation, you feel it, and you hear this talk, why would you talk to them? They're going to think you're weird. <laughs> Where did that come from? Try to figure out where it comes from. That's the first assignment, okay? All right, number two, if you knew that you could give that limited belief back, if you knew that you could give that limited belief back to the person who loaned it to you, all of these years you've borrowed it, so if you, if you knew you could give it back to the person who loaned it to you all, for all these years and break free and have anything you wanted out of your life or business and have anything you wanted out of your life or business, would you do whatever it took to make this happen? And if you answer yes to that, you know, be, you're going to be ready. It's, it's going to get, could get a little bit rough. <laughs> All right, Helen, number three. Okay. So, um, just to kind of preface this question, I'm going to talk to you guys about the perfect plexus day here after I share this um, with you. So just know this, um, part of your assignments coming up are to make your affirmations. So, um, the third question is as you do your affirmations this week, hang on, hold on. As you do your affirmations this week, as we go through the process of how and what to do, I want you to visualize yourself giving those borrowed limited beliefs back to the owner and trading it for the ones you want. So as you do your affirmations this week, as we go through the process of how and what to do, I want you to visualize yourself, visualize yourself just giving them back those borrowed beliefs, limited beliefs, back to the owner and trading in the ones that you want. Okay? Um, this is all about just reprogramming. Okay? So um, anything you want to share with that, Sonia, before I go into the perfect plexus day? Um, just that, you know, half the battle is reprogramming. Like, um, so many people try to do, you know, I, I just want you to, what I want you to do is to be very open to this new process because if what you've done for years or months is not working, you're beating your head against the wall, you're stuck, you keep trying all these new ideas, you're, you're trying so hard. If it's not working, I want you to try something new, which is changing the programming and just trusting, you know what? What if this does work? What if for the next 30 days I actually change the programming? And what if it actually changes everything? Would you like to see that happen? If so, give it a try. Be open to it. You won't have to work so physically hard if you will do this. And the book, the first five chapters, oh my, it's going to take you there. You're going to enjoy it. So, yeah, that's all. And I, I think, Sonia, like, 
just by you saying that, like shifting your mindset and believing that 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 one thing could change your outcome instead of going through the motions now, you have a new energy about you, you have a new belief. See, because more is caught than taught, there's a lot of subconscious to this business. So when you're out and about with people, when you are giving out that aura of excitement and, oh my gosh, you know, this is new and my beautiful upline diamond Sonia Dali just told me this is going to change everything and you just buy into that alone, alone, just that alone. Yeah. yeah. It could change who responds to you, who actually looks back at you and smiles and is going to be receptive to you, offering your business cards, engaging in a conversation with you. See, Les Brown talks about we all have an energy signature and it's either positive or it's negative. There is no black and white in this. And the negative is all based out of fear. So when you start to just reprogram and operate out of belief instead of fear, faith instead of fear. See, there's two sides of the same coin, faith and fear. You cannot have both. You operate out one or the other. And obviously, through this class, our goal for you is just to have you be that, have that childlike faith and that excitement so that people all, all of a sudden become attracted to you. You know, that whole law of attraction, magnetism. It's, it's not like a pie in the sky thing. This is proven. This is what so many successful people talk about. And so it just has to become your norm, your, your mode of operation, so to speak. Okay. So along with what we just assigned to you to answer those questions. And like Sonia said, we'll put them up on the page. Um, you have to do some uh, income producing activities. You can't just, you have to have a plan. You know, you just got to every single day know when you lay your head down at night, you've done something to further your business income producing wise. Okay. So a couple weeks ago, um, I was a speaker on, um, Ame Darling has a great call on Sunday night. So tune into that after it's going to be um, right after this call. Um, um, but I talked about having the perfect plexus day and I don't believe there's any reason all of you being senior gold and above couldn't actually achieve this because it's a two and a half hour productive day. All right. So what you're going to do is wake up. This is part of your assignment and I'm going to make a cute little graphic and I'll post it on our, on our page so you can, you know, share this with your teens and do this yourselves and be reminded of it. You don't have to write it all down, but if you want to, you can. But actually, the first thing that we're asking you to do is to wake up with an attitude of gratitude and thank God for this business and that you don't have to do plexus. You get to do plexus. See, that's part of the mind shift. And so waking up with that is part of your assignment. We want you to do that every single day so it just becomes, you know, your feet hit the floor. Thank you, God, for this opportunity and the opportunity that I have to be the messenger of these life-changing products and go bless people today. And then you're going to spend um, the next two minutes after that little wake up um, with, on your affirmations. So your job tonight is to re refine, retune, create, whatever. Hopefully you all have affirmations, but if this is all new to you, you need to create them. Okay. And you speak them in the positive. You know, it's, it's like what Sonia was just saying. I mean, we, we just have to believe that I, I am laying on the beach in Kona with my upline drinking a pina colada, talking about this amazing experience, Plexus. I am in, I'm getting in my Lexus. The smell of the leather is like so stinking awesome. And my whole family's in the car with me. We're going out for dinner. Like speak it, like visualize. It's part of the whole thing. Make it specific. Okay. So you want to do several of those, however many you want, no less than five, I believe. And they be, need to be Plexus and, you know, related to the degree where, you know, it's going to further you in your business. And you're actually um, going to spend two minutes doing your affirmations five times a day. So that's 10 minutes of work. Okay, now we're doing the countdown for two and a half hours. So we got two hours and 20 minutes left. Now what are you going to do? Because that's going to take up 10 minutes of your day by doing your affirmations five times throughout the day. You're going to spend 30 minutes on social media that's productive, whether it's sharing your testimonies on your wall, your business page, Income producing activity, you know, whatever that takes, but 30 minutes is pretty generous on social media where you're actually going to be, you know, working on it, not just liking a bunch of posts, you know, going through testimony pages, coming up with some creative posts yourself, always from the heart. The most likes you're ever going to get on your, on your um, posts on Facebook are going to be written from the heart. 
period. And you should yeah. be mixing them up. You know, that's a whole other class in itself, social media. Um, but make sure that it's productive. 30 minutes on that. Checking groups. You know, we're in groups, things like that. And then, of course, doing at least two posts a day. And being consistent with that, obviously. And then we're going to do, um, you're going to do 3 two, one which is one hour of work a day. 3 two, one is getting three new contacts in your Plexus business. Whether that's going to be through Facebook and social media, but preferably going to be out and about doing life, um, reaching out some way to get three new contacts. Being prepared is a huge part of that. Having your trifold, your business cards, your three-day samples, your one-day samples with you. This is a perfect time to be out. The holidays, there's a bajillion people out shopping. There is no reason why you can't be meeting three new people a day to share Plexus with. The cashier, the person next to you in line. See, what I tell people is when you what you signed up to do the day you became an ambassador is to become a chatty person. Your job is to talk to everybody. And if that's not part of your comfort zone, then what it's on you just ask you about your comfort zone. Is it worth it? Is it absolutely worth it? Of course it is, right? If, if you want it badly enough, you'll figure out a way. Doesn't mean you have to change your personality. It just means that you become a connector of people. You can do that in a quiet, sincere way. But you become so passionate that this becomes actually easy. Easy to do. I open my mouth because I love what I do and I want people to be blessed by these products. So three, two, one. The next one, two, would be following up with two customers or a sample that you gave away or a three-day trial that you sold. See, this should be easy if you're, pa if you're getting three new contacts, which means hopefully you're getting their name and number back. That's a skill that needs to be achieved really quickly if you don't have that. You know, you don't want to just be passing out cards and going, oh, I, I met three people, I gave them their card. You want to develop that skill of getting their name and number back, Facebook friending them right on the spot adding them to the power team testimonial groups or whatever testimonial sites you're, you know, you're connected to things like that need to be for, for it to be income producing and productive has to happen. Okay. So follow up with two customers and then the one would be following up with somebody that you've shared the opportunity with a business contact. So, um, a person that you share plexus with, you know, three way calling, whatever you've done, um, if you are, let's see, what did I write down? Following up. Yeah, following up. It could be also following up with a new ambassador on your team, but just connecting on the business end so it's not just all about sales. So that's pretty basic. I think, you know, one hour is reasonable to spend if you're really out there connecting with people, three, two, one, one hour a day. Um, again, you know, we all want to go make a six-figure income. It's going to take commitment, growth, stepping out of our comfort zone, and time. You have to invest time in this business, and it has to be productive time, okay? So that's one hour. So we're up to social media, 30 minutes, affirmations, 10. That's one hour and 40 minutes. And then we're going to do 20 minutes, which would be connecting with your team. This is going to just depend on the size of your team. Some of you might not need that much time, but some of you will. So this is kind of like a grace period time, but an extra 20 minutes to connect with your team, upline, sideline, edifying others, organizing your day, just 20 minutes of connecting time to kind of tie up loose ends, answer messages, questions, things like that. And then um, 30 minutes of reading, which now obviously, you know, you're, you will get through way more than five chapters a week in the book because it's really quick reading. I think I read the first three chapters in like, I don't know, 20 minutes. Yeah. So 30 minutes of reading a day, and that's on a personal growth book. So it could be 10 minutes of this book. It could be 20 minutes of another book, but it has to be some sort of personal growth, self-development, you know, um, growth and development type of book. And then um, that's two and a half hours right there. So hopefully that seems doable for you, but it's a great track to run on. It's something that tangible that you can really work on. And so our um, assignment for you is to have three perfect plexus days this coming week. So we're not asking you to do it every single week, that's come, or every single day, that's coming. But just so that you really have something that you can like strive to work on, check off from your list, have, a, have something tangible. Now, I, my feeling is if you double this activity, that's five hours, that's still not even a full-time day for those of you who don't work a full-time job and have more time and are willing to put in more time, you just double it. Just double it. And Helen, can I say something? You oh, know, sure. um, when you know, I remember working, um, 
you know, even at, even at Verizon with Michelle Thomas, you know, being my boss, you know, I remember we would have to, you know, take a few minutes in between customers. We didn't have any downtime. They would make us, you know, call, um, call people, cold called people and just, you know, try to get them to upgrade and different things. And, you know, it was just part of my job. I had to get it in. Um, I had to show that I had done that and check that off. So if you kind of treat this like that, a checklist, the three to one, but if you're doubling it, just, you know what? It doesn't, I was afraid. I didn't want to do it. I did not want a cold call. Well, this is not even necessarily cold call. And it may be people you met and you're just scared to talk to, but um, treating it like that. And, yeah. Um, you know, I want to also say that talking about doing the affirmations, there may be people on the call, even as a senior gold, who doesn't even know what that means. I want to say that in your book, there's many chapters that actually give you affirmations, but the one chapter 19, there's some amazing affirmation examples, even chapter 17, chapter 16, chapter 15, like it starts way all through the book uh chapter 15 on there's uh maybe no hold on chapter chapter 16 on it, there's every chapter has many examples of affirmations really good ones i mean there's people who do quit smoking from affirmations see what happens is your thoughts follow your actions follow your thoughts. So what I did, and you can do this with a voice recorder, is you can record, instead of just only writing them where you see them, you can then record your affirmations on a voice recorder on your phone, and you can listen to yourself saying it in present tense. And in these chapters, it gives you some amazing, powerful ones that will definitely counteract those. So you would take all the fears you have, if it's five to seven, fears that you came up with from that self chatter, you're writing them down, then you're counteracting them with affirmations kind of structured like some of these in the book. They have to give you power and feeling. But then as you're listening to them several times a day and reading them, you're reprogramming your thoughts. Then your actions start following that. You will be out somewhere thinking that you might not want to talk to someone about plexus and all of a sudden you just start talking and you're going to be like, where'd that come from? Your actions are following your new programming. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. The year that I did this in the other business, Helen, you remember, yes. I did the endless loop tape and it played over and over and over all night long and it reprogrammed my, my, my mind all night long and my actions then followed that and I had the best year I ever had in that business that year so yeah good stuff I could preach on this for hours so it's, it's my, it, girl. It's my well, passion. and just in the beginning you know when he was talking about how many times we hear you know the words no and yeah like 77 percent of everything we think is negative counterproductive works against us you know I think about the ripple effect of, you know, and we've, we learned this so much of this in our old business. And so I just feel like, you know, as a parent, what you can teach your children, you know, that just expanding on that is so profound because yeah. it is against what they hear in school or on the playground or, you know, in, out in life, you know, people, but just by nature, for whatever reason, you know, are, are just... Yeah more the glass is half empty let's be realistic and so what a what a way to really affect not just your business but the people that you surround yourself with and your family and you know i know it's not allowed in my house to talk negative yeah, Helen, this just this week addison said to me mom she has a, you know, she's a teenager and she has a good girlfriend, you know, always going through boy issues. And I know. And she said, you know, mom, I have taken stuff that you've said just over the last two weeks and I've been using that to help my friend. And mom, it's made a difference. Mm -hmm. Like, let me tell you something. I'm teaching her how to coach her friends going through issues. She said, mom, I love this. It's really helping. So thank you for bringing that up because it's like, to me, guys, 
it's 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 so powerful and i'm going to close with this helen if you do you have anything else you want to add we're going to go right into the group and post some of the, the homework assignments so give us a few minutes to get those typed up uh, it, it, give us 30 minutes because actually we've been on a call since six o'clock. We've been recording an hour and a half. I haven't eaten. So give us <laughs> minutes. But if you have anything you want to add, otherwise I'm going to close with kind of this verse. Oh, no. Okay. No, just um, thank you. And I just, I, I'm so excited for this class. I feel like this is a transformational course for you in, in so many ways. And just know as your leaders, we are, just so you know, proud of all of you for taking this commitment. Um, obviously, it's going to be on a honor system, um, but like Sonia said, feel free to share in our group um, if you want to talk about your fears or you know, just let's let's all support each other. I know when we were doing a Super Saturday training, part of our training was to actually talk in front of our peers about what how we were going to open our Super Saturday talk. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of people in the class d wouldn't do it, wouldn't even think of doing it. And, you know, Sonia went up, and I went up, and a few other people went up, and it just created so much more belief for people that they could go do it. And some people were shaking in their boots. If you can believe this, these are jewels, just to give you hope. I mean, we were all leaders being asked to do Super Saturday, but that's the fears that all of us have, and it's normal. It's just part of life. But I'll tell you, the people who didn't go up that day, regretted it and they were mad at themselves for like letting fear stop them that day and so there's just power in, in again being transparent being that person that says you know these are my fears and this is how I'm going to overcome them and and there's just so much that's the human nature of us to be connecting with others like-minded you know that are willing to express that and be vulnerable so we just encourage you to just feel safe in this class I know a lot of us don't know each other that well I mean some of you are so deep in our downline we've never met in person or anything but just know we're all in this together one plexus we all have a common goal and we all have servants' hearts. That's why we're already senior golds and above, because we're doing this business with the right intentions and we want to better ourselves and get to the top because all that means is that you empower more people to get to the top and more health and wealth stories and testimonies. And so I just feel privileged and honored to be um, leading this class with Sonia, of course, and we're, we're super, super excited. So thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you, Helen. And we're, you know, we're also humbled that your leaders, because you have, obviously, this is a lot of our jewels who have trusted us enough to say, we're going to put our people in this group because, you know, and I love that about our jewels and our leaders is they have no ego issue. And, you know, we're all one team and uh, we just love to share anything that we can do to help. So thank you to all the leaders in the group who've allowed your teams to, um, to, be in the group. All right, I'm going to close with this. <clears throat> this I'm reading another book that I'm really excited about too, and I'm not going to tell you because it's probably going to be like, I'm, I'm like the next one. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I can't even tell you. It's about all this. It basically biblically biblically backs everything the book you're reading is about. Science is finally catching up with the Bible, showing us the proof that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of power and of love and of sound mind. Second Timothy one seven breakthrough neuroscientific research is confirming daily what we instinctively knew all along. What you are thinking every moment of every day becomes a physical reality in your brain and body, which affects your optimal mental and physical health. These thoughts collectively form your attitude, which is your state of mind, and it's your attitude and not your DNA that determines much of the quality of your life. Oh, can I just say I'm like above beyond pumped to take this class on. Guys, this is the first day of the rest of your life. So let's have an awesome week together. We're going to pray over you, and it's going to be an awesome week. You guys pray over your team this week. Pray over your business. Pray over everyone in this class, and let's, let's just lift each other up and encourage each other to have an amazing, amazing uh, transformation. Okay? Are we good? Yep. Go Power Team. We love you. Love you guys. We did go a little over. That's okay. okay. What did we do? 47 minutes. We're good. <laughs>